Las Vegas. You gotta start it off with the big question. Saturday, Floyd Mayweather, Canelo Alvarez. Who's gonna win and why? I'm rooting for Canelo. I really am. You know, I think boxing needs a, a new face and uh, I guess a better face. Well, I'm nothing against <laughs> Floyd. Floyd, you know, I I always disliked him, but you know, you gotta admit he's he's good. You know, he's where he's at because of of, of his talent, of course. And you know, the way he is is just he's just too honest, and some people can't appreciate. Most people can't appreciate that, but. Uh, I'm really rooting for Canelo, but I, I really do think that Mayweather's gonna win it. I mean, out of everything Canelo does as a boxer, Mayweather does 10 times better. So he's gonna have to pull something different in order to beat him. I don't think he's gonna beat him by boxing him, that's for sure. So hopefully he surprises me again because I picked Kyle over him. So I'm hoping to, you know, to keep the tradition going and he surprises me again, but we'll see. I might say his name wrong, but your last fight, hell of a fight, fight of the year candidate against Anakawa. Yeah. If I'm saying it right. Were you surprised that guy took, I mean, he went down, but he kept getting up. He took a beating. I mean, I don't even know if he knows where he's at right now. That was so many shots. Were you surprised at how he took that? Yeah. Uh, because, mainly because we know how hard I hit. You know, in sparring, I was breaking people. I broke, you know, my sparring partner's ribs. I, I knocked one of them out and with 18 ounces and big 18 ounces. So. It comes to, to the you know to the fight and you I'm wearing the power locks which is like small eight ounces and I'm hitting them with everything I've got and this guy just doesn't go down or if he if he does he gets up smiling and you know he's just ready to take more and willingly so I don't know man. Did I, you seem I, crazy? It, yeah, like it was. Smile? I mean, yeah, I mean, I was enjoying it as much as he was, but the thing is, like, at the, in the back of my mind, I was like, man, this guy is just, what is he made of? You know, that's what I, that's what I was thinking. Do you think that was a perfect compliment to your previous fight? Because you obviously came in the last time, blew a guy away, didn't even break a sweat, and now you get a fight where it's complete opposite. So yeah. now you've shown you have power and you can go 12 rounds. Yeah, that's exactly, you know, a lot of people say, are saying that that fight took like five years out of my career and blah, blah, blah. And, I, and uh, it took something out of me, and I, you know, all the, all the meanwhile, I'm like, in, 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 on the contrary, I think it gave me more than it took away. I mean, now I, I knew I could go three, four rounds and get some out of the way, you know, hit it with some shots, and you know, but even I had doubt if I could do twelve rounds like that. Even I had doubt if I could, you know, be in a war and last and, and have the heart, to, you know, to pull through and. You know, I, I think I think it was good that I had a fight like this because now I have even more confidence. Now I know that I can go 12 hard rounds, throwing with power shots. I mean, of course, my hands were hurt, so I couldn't really hit him with everything I, I had. But now that I know, you know, I can fight through adversity. I'm men I know that I'm, I have that mentally, you know, I'm mentally strong in order to survive 12 rounds like that. And uh, my future opponents just better watch out because now I know that I can go 12 rounds like that. So I, I know that I can keep that pace that I start with the whole fight. You mentioned your hand. What's the status of it? I'm sure after that fight, you probably took like a week to sleep and rest. Yeah. How no, is your body holding up I now? How is the hand? No, I mean, my body's back to normal. The only thing is my hands. My yes. knuckles are fine now. My knuckles, I don't know, you know, if y'all got to see it after the fight, but they were swollen. They were just really swollen and really red. And now it's just my wrists and my metacarpals that are hurting on both hands. So I don't know what it is. I, I, I usually, I didn't, I didn't do anything about them because I got them checked out that night and they're not broken or anything. So I didn't do too much about it because I, it's happened before. Okay. And they just heal by themselves. You know, with time they just get better and I'm able to get back in, in, the, in the gym and start hitting stuff. But this time, it just doing simple things like certain maneuvers, they, it, my hands hurt. You think you'll be back this year or do you might have to steer out? Unfortunately, no. I don't think I'll be back this year. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm excited for my next fight. I just wanna, I guess that new, that new confidence that I have. I just wanna put it, put it to use, and I wanna see what I'm able to do with it. But uh, I'm gonna have to wait. I mean, I can't do anything without my hands. You know, it's yeah. what I work with. Well, you don't wanna re-injure it and then be out even longer. Exactly. Or, or make the problem worse. So. You know, you want an interim title. Nowadays, it's hard to tell if an interim is a real title. If it's not. Do you know if you'll be defending that title, uh, fighting somebody to become the regular title? Have you heard anything about it about that? As far yeah, as well, Broner. I'm sitting right next to Broner. Yeah, I right. think you know what I've heard is that he's uh, he's gonna fight Maidana in December. Okay. So once that fight goes through, then I guess you know you the title's mine. But I don't really care about titles. It, at the end of the day, they don't really mean anything. You know, it's who you fight and how you beat them and how you look. So that's that's and and 
you got to make the fans happy. You got to keep the fans happy because the fans make you who you are. It doesn't matter what, what title you have. If the fans don't like you or don't know you, you know, you're not really going to do much. So all I, all I really care about is putting on a good show, fighting the best there is, and, uh, you know, trying to keep my undefeated record alive. All right, man, the fights are starting back up. What do you want to let the fans know out there? Just I, that I'm really thankful. You know, I'm thankful. I'm truly blessed to have the fans that I have and, and to be in the position that I'm in. And uh, there's this is just the beginning. Hey, para los para todos tus fanáticos mexicanos, puertorriqueños, cubanos, todos latinos que van a estar viendo esta entrevista. Pues sí, por supuesto, para toda mi gente hispana, latina, eh, gracias por su apoyo. Eh, aquí estamos, estamos listos para el que sigue y para darles el mismo show de, de siempre. Pero ni modo, se me lastimaron las manos, así que van a tener que esperar un poquito más. Okay, thank you.